Today's video is called Loving Our Reactions. So you know sometimes you haven't slept well or eaten well or rested or haven't done creative work or maybe the kids are home and maybe this is stressful and maybe um, finances are challenged or something at work is challenging and you're not as resourceful and you don't even know it and then someone that you love near you says or does something and then boom you have a reaction maybe you raised your voice or criticized or maybe you powered over someone or maybe you shut down or maybe you withdrew but whatever it is there it is their reaction it happens so fast so so fast and then you wake up you know that it's your reaction you know that you made something be about you. You know that you gave it some kind of meaning that gave you pain. Maybe you thought, oh, I don't belong. And what they said or did just heightened that. Or maybe I don't matter. Or maybe they don't care about me. Or they don't love me. So these patterns come up so quickly, especially when we're not resourceful. And then maybe when you wake up, you start having more thoughts. Oh, shouldn't I be further along? Shouldn't I not have these reactions? And then guilt starts. And this brings more pain. So in my experience, when this pattern of hurt shows up, there's, and, and the reactions, there's a couple of things that I know that are effective. One is just to accept, accept everything. Accept the, oops, I made that be about me. Oh, I uh, just went there. And yeah, this is an old pattern. And uh, the other person is now confused and hurt because they don't know what's going on. And okay, all right, it happens. We're all human. We all have patterns. We all go out of balance. We all get insecure. We all get frightened from our thinking. <sighs> okay, I'm going to accept it. And then I'm going to call the person and apologize and say, oops, I went somewhere with this. I'm so sorry. Sorry, you had to receive that. I just went out of balance. It was not my intention. And then let it go. And for some people, this is great. They can do that, no problem. And then with other people, they're still, oh, they're still holding on, holding on to something deeper inside. So if you can just let it go, great. And you can stop the video right now and just love everything like, oops, this is part of our humanity. Maybe surround it with love, surround the, uh, the guilt with love. And just understand, oops, okay. But if you're having a hard time letting go, then I will be doing a meditation in just a moment. And please stay tuned for that one. Okay, so I invite you to close your eyes. And relax. Relax the face muscles and the forehead. Relax your back. Relax the belly. Relax your hips and your legs. I invite you to drop down somewhere that's deeper than the thinking. Maybe there's just a space there of calm. Maybe there's a space where you can just be and let everything else go. Right now, it's just for a space of being. Being quiet. Dropping into the spaciousness in which everything else happens. Everything comes and goes in this deep, quiet, spacious place. And I invite you to take another deep breath. I invite you to bring forward a time when you had a reaction with someone. Notice what happened. What did they do or what did they say? And notice where you went with that. 
how you made that be about yourself. How you took that personal and you gave it some kind of meaning about you. And I invite you to breathe. Just breathe with all of that. I invite you to create space around that thinking. No blame, no changing, no fixing. Just relaxing around the thoughts, giving them space to be. They're part of the human experience. We sometimes create or attach to patterns of thinking that hurt. And it's okay. I invite you to relax and breathe. Allowing the thoughts to be, because they're just thoughts. When we don't attach, they're just thoughts. Allowing you to be too. Maybe starting to remember that you are the space in which the thoughts come and go. Just breathing, relaxing, allowing everything to be without attaching. Just giving yourself space to be with that. And notice what feelings came up to you with this kind of thinking. Did you feel hurt? Were you scared? Did you feel insecure? Maybe panicked? Hurt? Pain? Anxious? Anger usually comes from from fear in my experience. Just notice what came up for you. And I invite you to breathe once you know what came up. Just breathe. Maybe notice where the sensations are in the body. And do nothing about it except for breathe. Allow. Surrender. Relaxing around, around the feelings. Just letting them be and letting you be. Because just like the thinking, the feelings come and go in the space of you. I invite you to just be okay with that. Give them space and relax and breathe. Now, if this hurt part inside or the scared part inside could talk and could express what it needs, what would it say in this situation? Did it want love? Didn't want belonging. Didn't want to matter. Didn't want to rest or express itself creatively or sexually. Didn't want compassion. Maybe perspective or awareness. Did it want to express itself honestly with integrity? communicate a truth? Did it want peace? Maybe shelter? Security? And I invite you to give yourself internally what this part needs. If it needed to feel love, I invite you to share love with it. Right now, 
You know how to do that. Did it want space? I invite you to give it space because you know how to do that. Maybe it wanted a sense of belonging or to matter. And I invite you to give it a space of belonging with you and to matter to you because you know how to do that. Maybe it wanted compassion and understanding. Well, I think you are the best person to give it understandings and you since you really understand this part. If it wanted safety, security, shelter, and the outside circumstances are unknown, I invite you to give it the shelter and the safety of this moment, of being in a connection and a safe space with you in the present moment, in the space of now. Perhaps this part wanted to express itself, honestly. And you know that you're the only one who can actually do that. So I invite you to listen to this part and do what it, what it asks you to do. Because you know how to do that. And I invite you to be with it in a space of, of loving, compassion, tenderness and gentleness. And I'm wondering if you notice, is this part wanting anything from anyone that's out there, the person whom you had the reaction with? Or is it actually more satisfied when you give it what it wants, what it calls for? Just notice. Now, if any residual judgment comes up about you needing to be better than who you are, more advanced, not have reactions, I invite you to surround that thinking with loving and to give it space. We are who we are at every given moment. So if something came up, we can love that part. We can love our oopses, treat them with kindness. And if feelings of guilt still come up, I invite you to surround those with, with love as well. It's okay to ev for everything to come up, for us to love our whole human experience. And breathe with it, just breathe giving everything space and love. Any shame, embarrassment, surrounding them with love, spaciousness, kindness, space. And I invite you to notice how you feel now. Is there more calm? Maybe more stillness? around this reaction that you had. And from this quiet stillness, I invite you to ask, is there any new awareness that came up for me around this? And what's the most loving way that I could be with myself right now? And what's the most loving way I could be with another, the other person involved? Do I need to communicate anything? Good. I invite you to take a moment and thank yourself for being willing to go to a place of kindness and loving with your reactions. For being kind with yourself. Good. When you're ready, please open your eyes. And if you like this video, please put a like and subscribe. And I will put another video up. Thank you.